Hi YouTubers, uh, beautiful uh, September day here today and I can't get the football games so uh, I'm outside working in the yard. Uh, these are just some of the flowers that grow up around the house. I don't do anything with them, they just grow. So, Anyways, I want to give you all an update on uh, Old Rusty here. Um, my uh, Troy Bill horse, I got a lot of the parts off of it. And uh, I'm calling it Old Rusty because I don't think she's ever spent a day of her life indoors. And uh, you know, the handlebars and the shifters and all that have come off. Uh, I've got, uh, looking at the blades, some of them are not too bad, some of them are shot. And you can see different bolts on there and you can see where somebody had replaced some of the tines. So i got to start looking into some new tines and everything. Uh, just to show you, I got, if you remember, this front motor mount here was completely broken off. And I just got it sitting in there for now. I got a, another one off of... Uh, eBay and it's a newer model. I looked at the numbers. This is a 1973 model and this is a, a newer one. The interesting thing is you can tell some of the differences between the mounting uh, brackets or for the engine is if you look here, you know, we got spaces here and here, but on this one, uh, this space is it's a newer model and you can see where uh, that didn't have it on there. Also, and on even newer models, this piece here is a big hole, but uh, you can see that the older they were, the, the more metal they put in them. So anyways, uh, that's kind of what I'm working on now. I uh, Just to show you, like I said, if she spent a day indoors, it was probably on the day it was sold, and uh, it's been pretty much outdoors ever since. So. Uh, Anyways, I've been using the electrolysis tank, and I'll show you how I did on the uh, the shifters and the handlebars. Um, still, paint still got some drying time to go left on it, um, but they were totally rusty like the rest of them. And uh, a couple hours in the electrolysis tank, and uh, they look pretty good. Uh, the color red I chose is. Uh, you know, uh, just a regular Rust-Oleum, and I got the uh, Rust-Oleum primer on it. It's called uh, Sunburst Red, and uh, I got a couple of cans. They give you 25% more, so hey, you can't go wrong on that. It was like three, four dollars a can, but uh, yeah, she came out pretty good. I did have to do a little bit of sanding with the flapper wheel on the die grinder, but it did come out good. Um, to show you the hood, um, like I said, old Rusty. I just took it out of the uh, um, electrolysis bath, and you can actually see the line where it only goes so deep in the uh, in the water. And uh, you know, it's hard to see, but totally rusted. And uh, you can see it's pretty pretty good now. I'll have to do a little bit of sanding and uh, and a little bit of paint. And she'll look pretty good. Uh, did some investigating, like I said, on the color, and if you look at it, it looks orange. But actually it's faded. When you peel more of the label off, you can, you know, it's hard to see, but you can see that uh, it's actually red under the T part where the sun blocked out the uh, UV, which probably bleached the uh, red to an orange. And, uh, you know, still got some more time to soak, but I just wanted to show you how it's progressing. Uh, I do have to get, uh, uh, you know, make a piece for that. And again, you can see on the inside, if you compare, of course the sun's not agreeing with me, this is uh, the way she was when I got her, and this is what uh, a couple hours in the uh, electrolysis tank does, and I'll show you later on how I got that set up. My one dilemma is the motor. It's a Tecumseh HH60. The guy said it was C's. Well, it wasn't C's. It was just completely full of mouse droppings and uh, took the head off and left the valves and everything. But the dilemma is she's got no spark. And, well, no spark usually isn't a problem, but I can't get this thing off. I've tried everything heat, uh, more kinds of uh, penetrating oil that you could think of because the, uh, the ignition coil is underneath it. Uh, she has an electric start, which is frozen. I'm not worried about that. I have no problem hand starting it. But if you guys got any ideas, I mean, I put the torch to it, and you can see I tried everything. 
Um, unfortunately, these holes aren't tapped because I had a uh, figure I'd pull a wheel puller on it. So I'm going to get a tap and try doing that as a last ditch effort. Uh, she does, she does turn over, and she does spin. Well, it's a little, but uh, she's got, you know. Basically, uh, I think I can get the motor going, and I like to get the motor going because I think it just looks really cool with the original uh, look to it. If not, uh, we're going to go to uh, get one of those uh, $99 Predator engines and put it on there. You know, I'll paint it red so it goes with the rest of the uh, tractor, but uh, that's what I'm working on. So if anybody has any ideas on how to get this thing off, short of uh, cutting it off, <laughs> uh, be real free to let me know. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, the sun finally came out. And, uh, you know, just to give you one last look at old Rusty, and yeah, we'll work on her some more and give you an update. Okay, Festus out.